Yeah, let's play one more, and then I should call it a night. Actually, before I forget, uh, there is, very sadly, not going to be a stream next week, because I'm going to be in France. Uh, so on Wednesday, I'm flying to Europe. I'm going to go on holiday, play a couple of Magic Grand Prix, um, and chill and have a good time. But that means I won't be able to stream, because I'll be in someone's Airbnb in France. Um, I, I think I get back in enough time the following Monday to rest and do a stream in the evening. So fingers crossed I will be able to stream the following Monday. But uh, I can't promise anything for... Well, can't promise I know I'm not going to be there for uh, the coming Monday, and I can't promise anything for the Monday after that, but fingers crossed. I'm like 80% on, maybe. All right, let's mulligan the late game card, and I guess actually playing double early game card is pretty useful against Starhorn. But I'd still rather play a Silver Guard Knight. <laughs> oh, thank you all for being nice to me. It is, I, I do always miss when I can't stream. It's sad. It's, uh, I really enjoy doing this for y'all. Right, this is awkward. I wasn't expecting them to play something that defensively. No, I wish I had kept the 2-2 drops and just go on the offensive... Especially against Mr. Draw Your Opponent cards. What should I replace? Am I going to be able to take a Mana Tile next turn? It's reasonably likely. I can just position this kind of here. Um, and hopefully my opponent can't swarm out enough stuff to take multiple Mana Tiles and I can go Thunderhorn Aegis. So I guess... Maybe I'll replace this? Sure. Or I could just cycle the Aegis now, actually. Plays are on natural selection. Yeah, go on. Given I have Holy Immolation in hand, that's probably worth it. Oh, that's a good draw. Oh, Zowie. I haven't seen you in a while. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite nervous about France, actually. It's uh, oh, Specifically France, then Italy. I'm going two different places. Um, I'm not very well-traveled as a person. So I think this is the longest holiday I've ever taken. So I'm a little nervous. It's going to be good though. Like, it's just me and Katie chilling in apartments and playing magic. It's going to be great. Please tell me that's their entire turn. That would be hilarious. Although it would beg the question of what the hell is in the... Re what the hell is in the rest of their hand? <laughs> like, okay, so they, they, they only floated two mana, so they could easily have... Well, actually, like hailstone golems. This maybe this is some kind of ramp deck. Like they're playing this and Kujata and like Juggernauts. Maybe they're playing Evolutionary Apex. Although I don't know why you'd play this in Apex. Um. Right. So what am I to do? This doesn't do enough. This doesn't do much either. This Tempest probably better. That's pretty irrelevant. I think I'm just gonna punch this and drop a Thunderhorn. The usual. Um. I guess I'll contest this tile with the Thunderhorn. I could just take the tile. I don't know if that has much value though. I think I'd rather my opponent put an effort to take it and sort of bunch it up around it. Because obviously they don't want to do that because it's a Thunderhorn. I'll play this rather than the Silver Guard just for mana efficiency's sake. We're pretty vulnerable to tech spikes here, but I kind of doubt they are going to play one. They might they might have one in hand, like, given they're skipped turn two, or almost skipped turn two. Maybe, like, Thumping Wave, Juggernaut, War Macanto Warbeast, um, Golems they couldn't play, question mark. Um, I don't know what else, to be honest. Was it seriously the alchemist all they played? It actually was. I think this is a math horn list. Oh, you mean like Blood Rage or something else? Math horn is not a term I'm familiar with. Although, I don't know why Blood Rage would play Golem. Metallurgist. I guess so you can spam Golems and then draw cards? Or do you just mean like Decimus Spikes? Decimus. <laughs> what? 
That seems like something I'm not too unhappy about. I have to get going. Catch you guys later. Have fun in France. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for showing up, Thanatos. It's always good to have you. Emulation. Yep. Like, am I just expected to ignore this? Can they play Juggernaut next turn? No. Not without Flash. Let's just get my pressure on. My god, this man has a family! So I can go Tempest, Regalia, Face? That actually seems like a good play at this point. I guess, so we go to 13, opponent goes to 5. Um, if they have Flash, Decimus, Tech, Spikes, we take 7. They can BBS as well, that's 9. I think that's okay. Oh, plus actually they'll be on 3, they can't Tech Spikes at all. Because they take 2 off the Tempest as well. Perfect. Yeah, this is great. This maximally plays around the combo. <laughs> Opponent cannot kill us without also killing themselves. Arclight Regalia is such a silly card. It's ridiculously powerful. Like, it's absurd that I'm able to play around Mechanta Warbeast by just developing this instead of a creature. Especially as it's more resilient and deals more damage, gets more value. It's insane. Oh, we can almost win with Sunbreaker. <laughs> Tempest does not do enough damage. Right, so we need, like, Immolation or something for the lethal here. Although Sunbreaker's not, like, dreadful. Um... Okay. So I guess we can just kill this. Silver Guard, Scintilla, roll the Silver Guard. Doesn't die to the Lava Slasher. I can try and position in such a way that I play around Mechantor. Yeah, get the free kill on this. Gain some more health. I'm not really expecting this to survive, well, I'm certainly not expecting this to survive, but I'm not really expecting this to survive either, to be honest. Um, although they have already used two Lava Slashers. Um, but generally this is just, you know, trying to put the game away, basically, like, playing my cards to use up my opponent's resources, force them to do stuff that isn't um, especially efficient. This might be the Concede, actually, yeah, it's the Concede. Do I have Tiger in this deck? I do not. I do not have Tiger in this deck because I have Night Watcher. Um, and this really isn't much of a bust deck at all. 